Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm playing a very interesting mod, so it basically makes Call of Duty Zombies like Modern Warfare, and I have to pick kill streaks. I want the one with the nuke. So basically, it's like Modern Warfare, there's different kill streaks, you know, Assault, Specialist, there's even different game modes, there's also this magical wheel that does certain effects in this. In the description, this sounds like a really good mod. The other game modes I'm actually very interested in, because one of them is Cranked, and if you've never played Cranked, I believe it's... Is it only in COD Ghost? I know it was in COD Ghost for 100% fact, but I don't remember if it was in another game. Also, I have a tech knife. This is insane. So basically cranked. If you get a kill, you get put on a timer. And if you don't get a kill, like another kill by the end of that timer, you explode. It's like game over. That's how it was. Well, not game over. Because in multiplayer, it was, you know, you just died, respawned. But in this, I think you go down. I don't know. I just read the description of it. It sounds really cool. And there's a bunch of different game modes you can do. So if you guys really enjoy this mod, I'll play it on other maps with other modes because, you know, I can play this on other maps, but I can also adjust the mode. So this could be a really fun mod to mess around with. I mean, so far I have a tactical knife. This is cool. Dude, I'm like going to commando lunge jump. You guys remember back in the day where like, you know, you could tack knife lunge and it launch you in the air, dude. That's what I thought like was going to happen right there. So I want to go find the box and then I want to find the magical wheel. It said that it costs like a hundred and something happens. There's certain effects that can happen and then it keeps increasing in price. So I want to find the box, then find that. Dude, the round just changed and I had no clue. It is like so hard to tell it changes. All right, I need out of here. Wait, what is this little D tier star I have next to my gun? What? Is this like the BO49 affinity? Also for the, uh, you see the kill streak at the bottom? To get the nuke, you need 2,500 kills. You need 2,000 if you get the hardline perk. And the kill streak literally means, you know, like a streak. You can't go down. So, guys, I have to get to round 10 flawless today. Today is the day it has to happen. Also, as always, if you enjoy any of my videos, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing. I'd really appreciate the support. Thank you all so much for the recent support. And for the daily question, I've been rattling this around my head for a while. I think I have an actual answer for it. So, what Call of Duty game had your favorite kill streaks? So here's where I give an honorable mention to BO2. BO2, you had some amazing kill streaks. The swarm was really cool. The Lodestar was insane. I mean, it's a AC-130 esque gunship thing, but you can guide the missiles. Oh, hey, box. You can guide them till they land. Like that's so cool. It sounded awesome. Lightning strikes and Hellstorm missiles were pretty cool because Hellstorm missile is like a pred missile that you could cluster burst. But here's where I say, Modern Warfare Three only because specialist bonus if you guys don't know what specialist kill streaks are basically it's perks so in modern warfare 3 oh i need a new weapon this oh thanks for the zombie boy this thing's kind of ass right now so in mw3 i don't remember what was it two four six eight i think it was yeah that's just what it was if you got two kills you got another perk like you chose the perk you wanted as your kill streak so after two kills in a row you could get sleight of hand and then it keeps going at four, you get another one. At six, you get another one. But at eight, you get specialist bonus. And you know what specialist bonus is? You get every perk in the game. So you know those custom zombie maps where you have like 50 perks, you feel invincible, you're super fast, you reload fast, you're super strong, you're just insane. Is this like the death machine power up? It's like Ranger Akimbo. Okay, this is sick. But yeah, the specialist bonus, that was a thing in multiplayer. Can you imagine being in multiplayer and having every single perk in the game? You feel so strong. It is insane. I don't want LMGs, bro. Wait, A tier? But this is C tier. The weapons are tiered. I'm so confused. What is this? B tier? Oh, I can't lose the flawless. What tier was it? Oh, this is A tier? I am confused. What do these tiers even mean? Hey, well, let me know your favorite... Call of Duty Kill Street game because there's some nice ones. I mean, obviously, like COD 4. Well, actually, I was going to say it's kind of lame, but COD 4 is kind of cool that everyone has the same kill streak, so it's a very even playing field. But like I said, man, that specialist bonus, I used to Moab grind on TDM and Domination and Kill Confirmed on MW3. Specialist bonus will always hold such a special place in my heart. That's the only reason it's above BO2. I would put BO2 above it if specialist bonus, I mean, it's really cool. But it's just, it's a bit of nostalgia, guys. I'll admit, kind of nostalgia. All right, I need to get Jug so I can maintain my kill streak. Actually, there's supposed to be like random perk machines in the, oh, the wheel. I forgot about the wheel. We got to go find the wheel. Hold on. Back here. This is a good place for a wheel. I'm really disappointed it's not here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, magic wheel's now unlocked. Okay. See? See? The dad joke got me a wheel, guys. Listen. <laughs> oh, wait. 
that's something. Is that the wheel? That looks wheel-ish. Now I'm really excited. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Unless I get something really good, then I'll say I'm really grateful for that. Listen, okay, rather than that, I'm done. All right, is this the wheel or is this the perp machine? Dude, this thing looks nice. Wait, oh, that's P... Oh, shit. It's PhD, but this thing around it made me think it was giving me some nice presentation of a wheel. All right, that's not the wheel. I got it. I mean, shout out perk icons, though. These things look insanely nice. Where's the wheel? Oh, I just activated Nova's. Damn it. I'm going to keep buying things until I find... Oh, the wheel. Found the wheel. Give a random reward or penalty. Oh, great. And a Widow's Wine Machine. Yeah, this fits right here. That looks... Actually, it doesn't even look... Because of the thing back here, it actually looks like it fits. Okay, give me 1100 and then I'm taking a chance. Random reward or penalty. I don't know what they are because I didn't read too far into it. I, I read the description of it, but I didn't want to know everything, you know, because then it's just boring. Like, I want to be surprised. All I got to say is I read the description and I'm like, this mod sounds badass. Let me in. So now we're here. Dude, look at this lunge melee. Wait, do that again. Oh my God. That is so nice. Hold on. Let me do, can I do that again. That is so cool. Okay, I have enough for the wheel, but I want to end the round real quick because these zombies are slow. Okay, they weren't lying that this gun was A tier, by the way. This headshot multiplier on this thing? Dude, holy shit. I mean, I get it's round seven or you know, wave seven, I guess. Dude, actually, do you guys ever play MW3 Survival? Underrated game mode. Why are you over here? This is what I'm saying. What are these stragglers? I have vivid memories of my friend coming over and we played MW3 Survival all the time. We're like... We played on underground and we were proning under the, not an overpass, but like the awning. That's a good word for it. Awning. All right. Wave eight wheel time. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say it. I'm, I want to say a wheel joke, but I'm not going to do it. Just give me a, please. Wheel. I've been good this year. I've been a good zombies YouTuber. Thanks, man. Oh, hardline. Yes. UAV. UAV. What do you mean UAV? Oh shit, it's death perception. We do that again. Oh, it flashes like, oh my God. Yo, shout out creators of this mod, kind of badass. Another one, I want another one. I'm gonna waste all of my points on this freaking wheel. I do not care. I literally, I will spend four family fortunes on random things. What did you, thanks again, man. Oh, this wheel's sick. Give me another one. I've only gotten rewards, guys. That means I'm due for a penalty, but I'm going to keep just guessing, please. Nothing. Nice. I mean, you know what? I wasted 1,100 points, but it could have been worse. All right, I need to actually save up and pack a punch. I want to pack a punch. I want to see how the weapon feels. I mean, I'm going to pack a punch the A tier weapon because I couldn't be bothered with a C tier weapon. Okay, guys, one more wheel spin. Gosh, we'll do one more, okay? Quit badgering me. Fine. God, you guys are so annoying. Just keep asking for the nuke power added rotation. That is nice. Random weapon. It took my A tier weapon for a B tier weapon. I gotta go spin the box for another A tier weapon. You are not catching me dead with anything under A tier. Actually, this is a. You know what? This is an SMG. I like mobility. Never mind. I overreacted. I'm about to go out in the alleyway. I hate these Novas. Let. I mean, they're still here because they're already spawned in. Dude, does UAV last forever? I actually remember this weapon from COD Ghost, the CBJMS, is that what it's called? Oh my, I actually remembered it without looking at the... <laughs> I didn't look at the name of it because, like, my new monitor is so wide that to look down that corner, I actually have to go over here and do this. I don't know why I remember it. Like, it wasn't that good. Honestly, it wasn't even good. So I don't know why I remember that. Okay, these Rangers are such a cool death machine power-up. Dude, this mod is insane. I want to play this more. You know, I'm playing this more. This is my channel. <laughs> I'm playing this more. Why are you stragglers over there for? But hold on, give me my 5k. Well, actually, do I go pack a bunch of one weapon or do I pack a bunch of them both at once? You see that straggler? Hold on. I'm wall hacking him. <laughs> get absolutely shit on. All right, I'm pack a bunch in the CBJ. I want to get a pack a bunch of weapon. I know it's only B tier, but listen. Sometimes you have to settle for the lesser tiers. All right. Sometimes in life you have to settle. Oh, wait, what's this? What? Oh, it's a perk. Huh. Oh, wait, is that the exclusion zone camo? Oh, my God. I think that's the exclusion zone. No, that's not. That's different. It's like a heartbeat monitor. That is literally a heartbeat monitor, but camo. Wait, what? 
<laughs> Wait. Oh shit. Wait. <laughs> you had to, what? <laughs> you had to survive the 19 to freaking get a shield. The way it like bleeped at me, I thought it was pay to win, and I'm like, this guy did good. This if you make things pay to win, that's how you know he's following in Call of Duty's footsteps, guys. Oh yeah, the freaking rangers back. Dude, these things are so cool. I mean, I kind of want to get all the perks. Oh, okay, let's not die. Um, is there like a perk machine to where I can just get all the perks a lot easier than running around the map finding them? I mean, I have to think there's a perk machine somewhere, like a wonder fizz of sort. Uh, let's just keep running till we find it. Like, I have a hard time believing there's not. Look at how the flash at the end of my gun. Oh my god. All right, we need to go get our perks, like more perks. And then we also need to spin the box and get an A tier weapon. Because this doesn't say B tier anymore. But we all know it's just some stupid B tier weapon. All right, Deadshot lovers, you win this one. There's a dedicated machine for it on this map. Wait, I can only have four perks? No. How are you going to have a mod like this and limit me? Hear me out, guys. I know someone was yelling that there's a Wonder Fizz on Kino, and I did know that. I just figured there was going to be a custom machine with like all the custom perks in it. Listen, hear me out. I knew that. I really can't buy anymore. I'm just going to have to spin the wheel repeatedly. All right, well, I'm going to get another weapon from the box that I want. And then we're just going to camp at the wheel. Actually, wait. The wheel gives me stuff anyway. Like, weapons. All right, let's go get an A-tier weapon. Or more perks. Just, can I have, like, all the perks? Is that a possibility from the wheel? Now I'm mad I opened that door. Because now I can't just sit in here. Perk limit has been increased. Oh. Okay, I'll stop complaining. And it gave a striker? Oh, but it's B-tier. But it's the striker. Oh shit, this thing's actually ass. Oh, well, I'm gonna go get all the perks, though. Let me get as many perks from this as possible. And then I'll go get more random perks from the wheel. See, this is efficiency at its finest. Just gonna take it. I'm not gonna bother with it. You may only carry five perks. All right, well, I'll just go. Okay, listen. <laughs> you asshole game. You know, I'm really enjoying this mod. Like, it just feels so much different than actual, like, normal BO3. And I don't know. I think I'm just, I think it's a good mod. One, I think it's actually a great mod. But I think just the freshness of it just oh, it feels so nice. I mean... There's literally a wheel. What is that? Zombie counter enabled? Oh, thank you. Stamina up. Let's go. Oh, this wheel's so cool. I like this wheel. See, it gives me stam. What else can I get? Thank you for... I mean... Okay. I'll take emulation, I guess. Alright, guys. A-tier weapon time. We have got to get an A-tier weapon. No B-tier out here. Go. Oh, no. Leave me alone. That looks like D tier. It's C tier. Oh, okay. I was wrong. I, I judged it, but I this should be D tier. That's also going to be C tier. Yep. There you go. I guess it's hard to get D tier weapons. Oh, no. What is that? The thumper? The thumper is A tier? Are you kidding me? Is my A tier weapon going to be the thumper? It's the thumper's day, I guess. Well, I really would like, uh, you know, that perk called... PhD. Actually, I'll just keep spinning the box to see if there's any more A-tier things. How much does the wheel cost? 1100 still? Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, that's... No, this is A-tier. That's A-tier. Nope, I, I don't even have to... I just know. D-tier? Oh, my... What just happened? What was the sound? What was the, the crying laughing sound? How is this D-tier? Are you shitting me? The thing's so cracked and custom zombies in World at War. That's so ass. I don't know how the fire cell is still active, but I'm just going to keep hitting it. We got to get in our A tier. S tier? Oh. Okay, now I got to be careful to not lose this. PhD slider, but with a flopper logo. I mean, yeah, you do slide in this game, but still. There's no way that I just died and my streak was reset. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, game. Really? No, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I didn't have an in-plane because it take, it took my gobble gum, I forgot. Don't worry, guys, we recovered a bit. I'm back on a decent kill streak. I'm gonna go get the riot shield. I got some of my perks back. Well, I actually got a lot more perks back because you know, the whole survival thing, you know, we're doing okay now. I just need to get this carbon power removed from rotation this mod sucks so you get to round 21 and you get rewarded by them taking carpenter out of the th dude that's so annoying 
Are you kidding me? We love Carpenter. Best power up ever. I'd rather have Carpenters and Max Hamos. And while I'm on a 244 kill streak, and I, since I have Hardline, I need 2,000 to drop a nuke. So I still have a while. I mean, what round is this going to end at? Like 40? Round 50 is usually about 4,000 kills, if I remember correctly from my days of actually playing the game heavily. So I missed like 200 because I died. So I don't know. Probably round... 35 i'd say which by the way this s tier weapon is definitely s tier this thing is insane i mean when i run out of ammo i'm gonna be really sad because this b tier weapon is not that great because you know it's just a little b tier weapon like garbage i mean so far i really really do enjoy this mod i'm really curious to see what it's like when i blow up the map but feature wise and kind of i think a good mod makes the game feel very different and i think this mod's doing a great job at that because this does not feel like anything i've played before it almost feels like zombies and mw3 survival mode mixed yeah because survival mode if you remember you could buy a lot of random things like what you can do in this so i guess it's a good mixture of both of those you've got a sentry gun whoa hold on i want to use the sentry does this count towards my kills where'd it go uh, okay does that damage me okay i don't think it counts towards my kills Oh, it doesn't. Uh, get in the corner. You're, oh, no. Okay, hold, we'll move you in a minute. You're just going to be stealing my kills. All right, I'm putting this thing in timeout. Uh, I mean, like, there. It might kill someone in the barricade, but rather than that, it's fine. No, I don't want to take my kills. I want to get the nuke. Creep perk, power up, added rotation. Okay, I like that. What are you... How are you shooting people? What the... F oh, my... This thing has 360-degree rotation. What the hell? He's robbing my nuke. And then I just like insta down. Juggernaut. All right, I'm on a 900 kill streak. We're finally getting somewhere. What the? No, I don't want this. No, oh, no, I have three minutes of the game. No, I don't want this to. Oh, son of a. Damn it. Okay, you go up in this room. Go away. Sure. Hang out up there. I don't care. So. I only have access to this weapon? I can't change weapons. And I'm very confused. It like activates all your kill streaks at once. It's so confusing. Okay, so I have Juggernaut health in the top left. But where's my ammo and my other weapons? I mean, I guess I don't need the other weapons right now because the A12, my S tier weapon, holy sh. Am I actually just invincible, basically? Basically, I'm so scared though. Because if I go down, I'm going to lose my mind. Dude, these zombies are so cracked. The only reason I've gotten this far is because of that AA-12. Like, look at this. I'm... Like, they're so strong and fast. We need to not get trapped like that again. I don't like that. That is terrifying. I'm out of ammo. In the, what? Dude, I only have this weapon in Juggernaut mode, but I'm out of ammo. I mean, actually, I've been doing this. I've been sliding a lot and it's actually been working. When does this end? I can't tell because the timers are overlapping. I just got 2,000 kills. So even with Hardline, this game wouldn't have ended until round 39. Like, holy hell, dude. All right, this should be the last round before this is finally over. I mean, I did die twice, but this is still... I didn't realize how long this would actually take because this has been an hour and 18 minute recording. Luckily, last round was a dog round, which means I should be able to get through this round. But like, my AA-12 is by far my best weapon. And even you can see just like how it's kind of fallen off a bit. Like it's still really good. Okay, we're finally in the home stretch. Please. Please. I'm so close. Oh my god. <laughs> if I die now, absolutely catastrophic failure. All right, come on. 13 more. Okay, it will be this round. Three more. One more. A single one. I accidentally slid into it with the PhD. Please. Yes. It's over. Yeah, I do the same thing too. Um, whenever I launch a nuke, I stab myself with a needle too. Let's go, dude. What happens? Oh my god. That is bright. Oh my. Finn. I'm <laughs> just dead. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of this mod, let me know. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.